The concept of nationalism, a profound sense of identity and unity based on shared language, culture, and political ideals, underwent a significant evolution in France following the French Revolution and during the Napoleonic era. This video delves into how the revolutionary fervor and the subsequent rise of Napoleon Bonaparte played pivotal roles in shaping modern nationalism in France. The French Revolution, Seeds of Nationalism. Before the revolution, France was a society deeply divided by class disparities and governed by an absolute monarchy. The seeds of nationalism were, in part, sown by the Enlightenment, which challenged the existing social and political norms and advocated for principles such as liberty, equality, and fraternity. The French Revolution, which began in 1789, was a response to the oppressive regime of King Louis XVI and the economic crisis France faced. The revolutionaries, driven by a desire for social and political change, uprooted centuries-old institutions, including the monarchy and the feudal system. The revolution marked a significant shift in the way the French people identified themselves. Instead of seeing themselves as subjects of a king, they began to view themselves as citizens of a nation. The adoption of the tricolor as the national flag and La Marseillaise as the anthem were symbolic of this new national identity. The various revolutionary governments, from the National Assembly to the Reign of Terror, under the Committee of Public Safety, played a crucial role in promoting nationalist sentiments. Policies aimed at unifying the country, such as the standardization of weights and measures and the promotion of the French language, reinforced the sense of a unified national identity, the rise of Napoleon Bonaparte. Napoleon Bonaparte, born in Corsica in 1769, rose through the ranks of the French army during the Revolutionary Wars. His military prowess, demonstrated in campaigns in Italy and Egypt, earned him widespread acclaim. In 1799, Napoleon staged a coup d'etat and installed himself as first consul, eventually becoming the Emperor of France in 1804. His rise to power marked a new phase in French nationalism. Napoleon implemented a series of reforms that had lasting impacts on France and Europe. The Napoleonic Code, for instance, codified laws and granted equal legal rights, laying the groundwork for modern legal systems in various countries. Under Napoleon, the French state became more centralized, which helped in fostering a sense of national unity. The establishment of a centralized administration and educational reforms were steps toward creating a unified national identity. Nationalism under Napoleon's rule. Napoleon's military conquests across Europe were not just a demonstration of military might, but also a means to spread the revolutionary ideals of nationalism. His campaigns in Italy, Germany, and beyond disseminated the concepts of French nationalism and inadvertently ignited nationalist sentiments in the conquered territories. Napoleon's administrative reforms further strengthened national identity in France. He centralized the government, streamlined the legal system with the Napoleonic Code, and reorganized education. These reforms made the idea of a unified French nation more tangible to its citizens. Napoleon adeptly used propaganda to foster a sense of nationalism. His portrayal in media as the embodiment of French glory and the romanticization of his campaigns played a crucial role in building a nationalist sentiment among the French populace. The impact of Napoleonic Wars on French nationalism. The Napoleonic Wars, 1803 to 1815, were instrumental in forging French nationalism. The wars fought across Europe brought a sense of shared purpose and sacrifice. The Grande Armée, composed of soldiers from various parts of France, became a symbol of national unity and strength. While the Napoleonic Wars helped solidify French nationalism, they also awakened a nationalist feelings in other parts of Europe. Nations under French control or influence began developing their own sense of national identity, often in opposition to French dominance. The eventual downfall of Napoleon, culminating in his defeat at Waterloo in 1815, marked the end of an era. Post-Napoleonic France and the growth of nationalism. Following Napoleon's fall, the Bourbon monarchy was restored in France. However, the Restoration faced the challenge of reconciling the old order with the irreversible changes brought about by the Revolution and Napoleonic rule. The ideals of nationalism, liberty, and equality persisted among the populace. The July Revolution of 1830, which resulted in the overthrow of the Bourbon King Charles X and the ascension of Louis Philippe, was in part fueled by nationalist sentiments. 
It highlighted the deep-seated influence of nationalism in French politics and society. Nationalism continued to be a potent force in France. It played a significant role in various political events, including the revolutions of 1848 and the unification of Italy and Germany. The idea of a nation-state, as envisioned during the French Revolution and Napoleonic era, became the standard for modern statehood. Under Napoleon III, the nephew of Napoleon Bonaparte France entered the era of the Second Empire, 1852 to 1870. This period saw a resurgence of nationalist fervor, albeit with different contours. Napoleon III's regime, while authoritarian, sought to invoke the glory of his uncle's time, emphasizing national pride and military prowess. The Industrial Revolution, which swept through France in the 19th century, also played a significant role in shaping nationalism. Industrialization transformed the French economy and society, leading to the growth of a middle class and a more interconnected nation. These changes fostered a sense of shared national destiny and identity. Napoleon III's foreign policy, including the Crimean War and intervention in Mexico, was partly driven by a desire to reassert French power and national prestige. These endeavors, however, had mixed results and eventually contributed to the weakening of his regime. The Franco-Prussian War and its Aftermath The Franco-Prussian War, 1870-1871, was a pivotal event in the history of French nationalism. The defeat of France and the capture of Napoleon III led to the collapse of the Second Empire and the proclamation of the Third Republic. In the wake of the war, the Paris Commune, a radical socialist and revolutionary government, took control of Paris in 1871. Although short-lived, the Commune reflected the deep divisions within French society and the different interpretations of nationalism. The establishment of the Third Republic marked a new phase in French nationalism. Despite initial instability, the Republic gradually solidified and continued the project of nation-building through measures like mandatory military service and public education, which reinforced a unified national identity. Nationalism in the context of colonial expansion During the late 19th and early 20th centuries, France embarked on a significant colonial expansion, establishing a vast empire across Africa, Asia, and the Pacific. This expansion was often justified through the lens of nationalism and the mission to spread French civilization and values. The colonial project had complex effects on French national identity. On the one hand, it bolstered a sense of national pride and global prestige. On the other hand, it brought to the fore questions about the principles of liberty, equality and fraternity when applied to colonized peoples. Conclusion The journey of French nationalism from the Revolution through the Napoleonic era and beyond is a testament to the transformative power of ideas and historical events. The French experience with nationalism not only reshaped its own society and governance, but also had profound implications for the rest of the world, influencing the formation of nation states and international relations to this day. That's all for today's video, and I hope you enjoyed it. If so, make sure to like, share, and subscribe to the channel for more interesting and engaging content.